a Wikivide Documentaries production. Don't forget to like and subscribe. Enjoy. Sasha Baron Cohen Sasha Noam Baron Cohen is an English actor, comedian, screenwriter, and producer. Baron Cohen is most widely known for creating and portraying four fictional characters, Ali G, Borat Zagjiev, Bruno Gard, and Admiral General Aladdin, like his idol Peter Sellers. He uses a variety of accents and guises for his characters. In most of his routines, Baron Cohen's characters interact with unsuspecting people, docu-style, who do not realize they are being set up for comic situations and self-revealing ridicule. His other work includes voicing King Julian XIII in the Madagascar film series and appearing in Sweeney Todd, The Demon Barber of Fleet Street, Hugo and Lamas Arabla. He made a cameo as a BBC News anchor in Anchorman 2, The Legend Continues. In 2016, he played an English football hooligan brother of an MI6 spy in the comedy film Grimsby and co-starred his time in the fantasy sequel Alice Through the Looking Glass. Baron Cohen was named Best Newcomer at the 1999 British Comedy Awards for The Eleven O'Clock Show, and since then, he has received two BAFTA Awards for The Ali G Show, several Emmy nominations, a nomination for an Academy Award for Writing Adapted Screenplay, and a Golden Globe for Best Actor for his work in the feature film Borat. After the release of Borat, Baron Cohen stated that, because the public had become too familiar with the characters, he would retire Borat and Ali G. Similarly, after the release of Bruno, Baron Cohen stated he would also retire the title character. At the 2012 British Comedy Awards, he received the Outstanding Achievement Award, accepting the award while reprising his Ali G. character. In 2013, he received the BAFTA Charlie Chaplin Britannia Award for Excellence in Comedy. Early Life Baron Cohen was born in Hammersmith, West London. His mother, Daniela Naomi, who worked as a movement instructor, was born in Israel. His father, Gerald Baron Cohen, a clothing store owner, was born in London and raised in Wales. Baron Cohen was raised Jewish. He is fluent in Hebrew as well as his native English. Baron Cohen's father's family were Ashkenazi Jews who moved to Pontypridd, Wales, and London, England and his mother's family are German Jews. His paternal grandfather, Morris Cohen, had added Baron to his surname. His maternal grandmother, who lived in Haifa, Israel, trained as a ballet dancer in Germany. Baron Cohen has two older brothers, Aaron and Amnon. Aaron is a composer and has worked on several of Sasha's films. Baron Cohen's cousin, Simon, is an internationally renowned autism researcher. Education Baron Cohen was educated at the Haberdashers Asks Boys School, an independent school in Elstree, Hertfordshire. Baron Cohen attended the University of Cambridge, entering Christ's College, Cambridge, where he read history, graduating in 1993 with upper second class honours. While attending the Cambridge University Amateur Dramatic Club, Baron Cohen performed in plays such as Fiddler on the Roof and Cyrano de Bergerac as well as in Habanim Draw Jewish Theatre. Early Roles After leaving university, Baron Cohen worked for a time as a fashion model, appearing in many fashion magazines. By the early 1990s, he was hosting a weekly program on Windsor Cable Television's local broadcasts with Carol Kirkwood, who later became a BBC weather forecaster. In 1995, Channel 4 was planning a replacement for its series The Word, and disseminated an open call for new television presenters. Baron Cohen sent in a tape of himself in the character of Christo, an Albanian fictional television reporter, which caught the attention of a producer. Baron Cohen hosted Pump TV from 1995 to 1996. Peter Sellers, known for portraying a wide range of comic characters using different accents and guises, was referred to by Baron Cohen as the most seminal force in shaping his early ideas on comedy. In 1996, he began presenting the youth chat program F2F for Granada Talk TV, and also had a small role in an advert for McCain Microchips playing the role of a chef in a commercial entitled Ping Pong. He took clown training in Paris, at the École Philippe Gaulia, studying under master clown Philippe Gaulia. Of his former pupil, Gaulia says, he was a good clown, full of spirit. In the late 1990s, 
Baron Cohen made his first feature film appearance in the British comedy The Jolly Boys Last Stand. In 2000, Baron Cohen played the part of Super Greg for a series of TV advertisements for Lee Jeans. The advertisements never aired, but the website for Super Greg created an internet sensation. Ali G. Baron Cohen appeared during two-minute sketches as his fashion reporter Bruno on the Paramount Comedy Channel during 1998. He shot to fame when his comic character Ali G, an uneducated, boorish junglist, hailing from Staines, started appearing on the British television show The Eleven O'Clock Show on Channel 4, which first aired on 8 September 1998, a year after the premiere of the show. GQ named him Comedian of the Year. He won Best Newcomer at the 1999 British Comedy Awards, and, at the British Academy Television Awards he was nominated for Best British Entertainment Performance. The Ali G Show began in 2000, and won the BAFTA for Best Comedy in the following year. Also in 2000, Baron Cohen as Ali G appeared as the limousine driver in Madonna's 2000 video, Music, directed by Jonah Sokolund, who was also responsible for directing the titles for The Ali G Show. Baron Cohen is a supporter of the UK charity telethon Comic Relief, which is broadcast on the BBC, and as Ali G interviewed David Beckham and wife Victoria in 2001. In 2002, Ali G was the central character in the feature film Ali G in the House, in which he is elected to the British Parliament and foils a plot to bulldoze a community centre in his hometown, Staines. His television show was exported to the United States in 2003, with new episodes set there for HBO. At the 2012 British Comedy Awards, 13 years after winning Best Newcomer, at the 1999 Comedy Awards, Baron Cohen accepted the Outstanding Achievement Award from Sir Ben Kingsley in the guise of Ali G, and stated, I is grown up now. I ain't living in my nan's house anymore. I is living in her garage. Ali G's interviews with celebrities gained notoriety partly because the subjects were not privy to the joke that Ali G, rather than being a real interviewer, was a comic character played by Baron Cohen. According to Rolling Stone magazine, Baron Cohen would always enter the interview area in character as Ali G, carrying equipment and appearing to be an inconspicuous crew member. He would arrive with a suited man, whom the interviewee naturally thought was the interviewer, Baron Cohen as Ali G, would sit down, to begin conducting the interview by asking the interviewee some preliminary questions. The interviewee, however, would remain under the impression that the smartly dressed director would be conducting the interview until short notice prior to cameras rolling. This would grant an advantage of surprise, whereby the interviewee would be less likely to opt out of the Ali interview prior to its start. Borat GF Borat Cultural Learnings of America for Make Benefit Glorious Nation of Kazakhstan, a feature film with Borat at the center, was screened at the 2006 Toronto International Film Festival and released in the United Kingdom on 2 November 2006, in the United States on 3 November 2006, and Australia 23 November 2006. The film is about a journey across the US in an ice cream truck, in which the main character is obsessed with the idea of marrying Pamela Anderson. The film is a mockumentary which includes interviews with various Americans that poke fun at American culture, as well as sexism, racism, homophobia, anti-Semitism, and jingoism. It debuted at the spot in the US, taking in an estimated $26.4 million in just 837 theaters averaging $31,600 per theater. Baron Cohen won the 2007 Golden Globe in the Best Actor Musical or Comedy category, his sixth such award. Although Borat was up for Best Motion Picture, Musical or Comedy, the film lost to Dream Girls. On 23 January 2007, he was nominated for an Academy Award for Best Adapted Screenplay. He shared his nomination with the film's co-writers, Ant Hines, Peter Bainham, Cy Mordecai Finesto, Dan Mazur, and Todd Phillips. Aside from the comic elements of his characters, Baron Cohen's performances are interpreted by some as reflecting uncomfortable truths about his audience. He juxtaposes his own Jewish heritage with the anti-Semitism of his character Borat. In 2007, Baron Cohen published a travel guide as Borat, 
with dual titles, Borat, Touristic Guidings to Minor Nation of US and A and Borat, Touristic Guidings to Glorious Nation of Kazakhstan. On 21 December 2007, Baron Cohen announced he was retiring the character of Borat. Bruno Gard Another alter ego Sasha Baron Cohen performed as is Bruno, a flamboyantly gay, Austrian fashion show presenter who often lures his unwitting subjects into making provocative statements and engaging in embarrassing behavior, as well as leading them to contradict themselves. Often in the same interview, Bruno asks the subjects to answer, yes or no, questions with either, Vasip, or, ik don't think so. These are occasionally substituted with, ach, ja, or, nicked, nicked. In one segment on the Ali G show, he encouraged his guest to answer questions with either, keep them in the ghetto, or, train to Auschwitz. Bruno's main comedic satire pertains, to the vacuity and inanity of the fashion and clubbing world. In May 2009, at the MTV Movie Awards, Baron Cohen appeared as Bruno wearing a white angel costume, a white jockstrap, white go-go boots, and white wings, and did an aerial stunt where he dropped from a height onto Eminem. Baron Cohen landed with his face on Eminem's crotch, with his crotch in Eminem's face, prompting Eminem to exit the venue with fellow rappers D12. Eminem later admitted to staging the stunt with Baron Cohen, after an intense bidding war that included such Hollywood powerhouses as DreamWorks, Sony, and 20th Century Fox, Universal Pictures won, and paid a reported $42.5 million for the film rights. A number of shill companies and websites were created in order to draw potential interviewees into interviews by creating an illusion of legitimacy. The film was released in July 2009. Admiral General Aladdin Baron Cohen's 2012 film, The Dictator, was described by its press as the heroic story of a dictator who risked his life to ensure that democracy would never come to the country he so lovingly oppressed. Baron Cohen played Admiral General Aladdin, a dictator from a fictional country called the Republic of Wadia. Borat and Bruno film director Larry Charles directed the film. The main target of the film's satire was Libyan dictator Muammar Gaddafi, who was still alive when the film was written. The producers of the film were concerned it would anger Gaddafi, possibly even resulting in a terrorist attack. So they released deliberate misinformation saying that the film was loosely based on a romance novel written by former Iraqi dictator Saddam Hussein. On 26 February 2012, Baron Cohen was allegedly banned from attending the 84th Academy Awards in his role as Admiral General Aladdin, but the rumor was denied by the Academy, saying, we haven't banned him, he is lying, but made it clear that Cohen is not welcome to use the red carpet as a platform for a promotional stunt. Cohen eventually appeared at the awards red carpet with a pair of uniformed female bodyguards, holding an urn which he claimed was filled with the ashes of Kim Jong-il. The ashes, which Baron Cohen admitted to Howard Stern on the Tuesday, the 8th of May 2012 episode of The Howard Stern Show were flower, were, accidentally, spilled onto Ryan Seacrest. Brought to you by Wikivideo Documentaries. Would you like to know more?